I began to watch a Sesame Street and was entranced and engaged. Oh, I just loved it. And when I was asked to become a member, a permanent member of the cast of The Electric Company, I didn't hesitate. I remember my agent saying at that time, he had good reason for saying it, he said, don't do it, they'll all think you're out of work. It was a man named Pinky Lee, a, a comedian who took a children's show and never ever did any work again outside of that show. So that was the Pinky Lee fear. And he said, don't do it, you may never have, and I said, I have to do it, I have to. I, it's, it's wonderful. It's doing everything that's great and noble and fine, and I want to do it for good reasons. They certainly weren't career reasons, that's for sure. And um, I stayed with the show for five years. By the time we got to the last two years, I was just doing two days a week because I was doing the Ritz on Broadway at the time, a play. But they would squeeze all of my stuff into those two days because each scene was a lesson. And that's what they did with Bill Cosby. By the way, that's what helped get him his PhD. Yes, he was using that as credit, educational television. And that's part of the uh, of his credits for his PhD. And to this day, Bill and, and uh, Morgan are close friends. It was what a great experience. Bill My God, Morgan. what an amazing show. Morgan Freeman, yeah. He played Easy Reader and lots of other characters. It was certainly a unique show. There was nothing ever, ever like it on television. And to this day, there really isn't. Nothing, I think, equaled it, aside from the fact you know, that it had an extraordinary cast of Cosby, Morgan Freeman, myself, Skip Hinnant, who was wonderful, Judy Grobart, who was fabulous, um, who came from Second City, by the way. Um, it was like no other show. It had wit. At, till that time, children's shows did not have wit. They could be knocked down, you know, that kind of stuff, comedy where people rolled around, but it didn't, they didn't have that kind of wit. We were very, very sophisticated. And there was always a constant, a constant inter, internecine, inter, internecine, internecine. internecine battle between what was important to give the kids and what was going to teach the lesson. And I so admire Joan Gans Cooney, who is Children's Television Workshop, for saying, Yes, we want to teach the lesson, but we have to engage their attention first. So if it becomes a matter of one or the other, then I want the kids to be entertained. And indeed, it was proven with my daughter, who didn't want to learn to read. She was a very reluctant reader and was entertained by the show and one day began to read. And it took a, a, quite a while because of the show. So it is to Joan's credit that she chose to go for what would engage or compel the child to watch and then teach the lesson. That was very, very important. And it was always kind of a battle. And um, um, on the other hand, when we were doing a skit, the lesson was also extremely important. And how to teach it became a challenge. The words above our head, should they be here? Should they be in the middle? Should they be on a card that we would point out? And they tested and tested and tested this, and it took a long time before they realized by having the show in a playroom with children that children, it's fascinating, and she may have told you this, uh, will learn even when they're not watching, when they're playing. That's one thing they learned about the electric company. They were so dismayed originally because some children would turn away from the set and play because they had toys there. It was on purpose. and. But they found, as these trials went on, that the children did learn that they don't have to necessarily watch, at least at very young children. And the other thing they found out with us is that very young children were watching The Electric Company, where you know a lot of the stuff was way beyond them. But they watched anyway, and were learning from it anyway. Now, I can't exactly recall where the letters were best. Was it above our heads or below? I think it was below, so we could directly point down this way. But it was fascinating. All of that, well, it was the most incredible experience.